Welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation. Today we are going to learn about the CFG simplification part 2. In today's lecture we are going to discuss about the removal of unit productions and removal of uh, useless symbol. In previous video we, uh, we have already discussed about the removal of null productions. I am your instructor Poonam Patel. Let's start to understand this concept. First of all, understand what which production are said to unit production. So here you can see that any production rule in the form of A derives V. It means that if right hand side production which contains single non-terminal only, exact single non-terminal only, we can say that this production is unit productions okay suppose my grammar is a derives a b c and a derives small a derives capital b and b derives small b okay so this is my grammar if you see the grammar can we say that this is the unit production no this is not a unit production because it contains two non terminals and one terminal contain two non terminals and one terminal so it is not a unit production can we set this production a derives a null because it contain terminals it is not a unit production a derives b so the rule said that if right hand side contains single non terminal we can say that this is my unit production okay same here this production is said that this is a unit production no because it contain the terminals we have said that uh, we have said that the, if the right hand side production contain right hand side production contains single non terminal then and then we can say that this is the unit productions okay now how we are going to remove this unit productions what are the procedure we are going to follow for this so the step number one said that to remove the a derives b we need to add the productions a derives x to the grammar rule where b derives x is occur where x is maybe a terminal maybe a null symbol so like this suppose i write yes yeah, so like this the step number one said that like this if my grammar is a derives b and b derives small b okay so the production if whenever i'm going to generate any string by using the a production so we always write down like a derives b then b derives null so this is unnecessary level increase because this is a unit production so unit production always follow same thing so it means that a derives null so can we remove it directly yes so if you remove b over here what we need to do we need to add in a production this b so here if i remove it so b derives over here we need to place over here like this so we can directly write down a derives b so this unnecessary step we can remove it like this so step number one said that a derives b so we add a derives x where x is maybe a terminal maybe a null string and after placing this we directly remove it a derives b and repeat from a step one until the step is remitted from a step one until all the unit production are not removed are all the unit production are removed okay so this procedure is repeated until all the unit production are removed now let us understand this procedure by using the example so you can get the clear cut idea about this now so here you can see i have defined the one unit uh, one grammar and said that we need to remove it we need to remove the unit productions so first of all we need to identify the unit productions okay so in unit production there is no indi indirect way okay you can directly define in the grammar by uh, checking the right hand side productions if it is contained on the one single non terminal so this is the uh, unit production so if you see in this grammar okay so can we say this is unit production because it contains two, two non terminals okay so this is not a unit production can we say that this is my unit production yes because it contain the single non terminal so this is my unit production okay can we say a derives a unit production no because it is terminal they said 
non terminal so this is not a unit production can we said this is a unit production no this is not a unit production because it contain terminals so unit production means it contain the right hand side single non terminal in cfg contain free grammar okay so in our example there is one unit production a derives b we need to remove it so how we are going to remove it so as we discussed in a procedure if i want to remove the unit production we need to add the productions where we need to add the production which contain the unit production otherwise the remaining production are we have to write as it is it means that suppose this production can we modify it no only the modification is done the production which contain unit production so a derives b so this production we need to modify it now what we need to write down so we have to uh, write down in place of b b's right production it means that if you see the b production in this grammar b derives b b derives small b so in place of b because a derives b and b is there derives small b so we can directly remove this b capital b and we have to write down over here b so here you can see place of b we have to write down small b and the remaining production we have to write down same as it is like this like this so this is the way we can remove the unit production so as you can see i am going to remove the a derives b unit production so here production so we have to write down in place of b b is right in, right in side production we need to write it down over here in place of b where it where the unit production gives so in place of b we have to write down the b productions right in side my grammar after removing it so i hope concept is clear to you now move on the removal of useless symbol so the grammar contain useless productions and useless variables so what is the useless productions so the production which we are not going to use to deriving the strings are called as a useless production and the symbol which we are not using to deriving the strings it is called the useless uh, symbols okay useless variables so it contain two type of useless variables so the variables the non terminals whose production will never terminate into a terminal strings will never lead to a terminal string it means that the non terminal productions the right hand side production are not used to deriving the strings okay and the second is said that the variable which are not reach from the initial start symbol if you remember if we are going to uh, generate any string we always start uh, generating from the initial symbol if the symbol the non terminal is not reachable from the start symbol is it this symbol are used to derive the strings no it is not used so that's why it is called as a useless variable so in a cfg simplification we are trying to find out those variables and productions and try to remove it because it is not useful so let us understand this concept by using the example so here uh the gram uh, here they said that we have to remove the useless symbol from the given grammar okay so we need to find out the useless uh useless symbols and useless productions if you see in this productions small a capital b this production is never lead to terminate any terminal strings because whenever the b production are used like this a b again a b again production if i replace b uh, if i replace uh, if i expand the b in place of b so always we have to use b's production and b production is said that b derives a like this if i suppose i start from the generating s a b and b this one so can we stop this because it goes infinite loop because it never terminate so is that this uh, past tree generate any string no this past tree is not generating a string because still we are getting the non terminal as a leaf node okay so this is not correct so it is go into infinite loop so we can say that the b production are useless production because it is not used to get the terminal to get the terminal strings 
to get the strings okay so for that we have to remove those productions okay so uh, how we are finding out useful and useless symbols so i am going to uh, clarify this over here so first of all we are going to uh, find out the useful symbol first and those symbol are not included in a useful symbol are considered as a useless symbol that's it this is the way we can find out it so how we can find out it so here you can see first step useful symbol so in useful symbols so symbols here i am going to consider both terminals and non terminal so first of all write down the all terminals value from the given grammar so what grammar contain the terminals so by seeing the grammar you can see a my terminals b my terminals small c small d a b c d okay so this is terminals now i have included all the terminals now i am trying to add a uh, uh, useful non terminals okay so which uh, non terminal are useful so the non terminal which generate the terminals directly generate the terminal are called as a useful uh, non terminals so here in this grammar you can see like this if you see is this production see the right hand side production so you can get the idea about the useless cd all the non terminals so we have to check all this combination if the combination contain this symbols any of these symbols okay combination contain uh if combination contain any all the symbols either a b c d but it contains only this symbols only so we can say that this is the useful if you see a is contain c d now check whether c d is over here yes c d is over here so a is my useful symbol because a always terminate with the c d now second capital c check right in side dc check this production is uh, this terminal is over here this terminal is over here if all the part all the symbol are contain over there over here we can say that this is the useful symbol so we have to include capital c okay so a is included now b is included now which non terminal is remaining s and b we have to focus it so first we are trying to focus whether the s is uh, useful or not so here you can see in uh, the production a b s now check all the values all the letters is included in the useful symbol so a is included yes b is included yes but capital s is included no so this production are not used now take the another production we have to check each and every production of s okay so now another production of s is a b a now check all the letters are included in useful symbol if yes we can say that s is our useful symbol so a is included yes b is included yes capital a is included yes so we can say that s is my useful symbol why i am calling s is a useful symbol so it any way we can stop the s by putting a b s like this a b a and a is our like this so we can and we can stop this and we can get the strings so we can say that s is our useful terminal now next is so our useful symbols are s a b c d and a and capital c now check the remaining term is capital b so capital b contain a b check the right hand side and all the symbol is included over here then and then we can say that this is the useful symbol now a is over here yes a is included now check whether b is over here or not no this is not a, so it is not a useful symbol is there any b production is remaining over here that we need to consider no there is no any another production so in our context free grammar the useful symbol are this a b c d capital s capital a capital c but b is our useless symbol in this way we can find out the useful and useless symbol okay so what we are going to do so we need to remove it b production so the production which contain in the right hand side b we have to just remove it we do not need to add anything else for this so if you see this production is containing b no this containing b no 
we need to this containing b so we need to cancel it because if we are going to remove the b so the production which contain capital b we need to remove it so acd no it is not contain this is deleted the b production we need to remove it and c contain no so in this way we can remove the production so our modified grammar we can get like this now so this is where the we are finding out the useless symbol now we are trying to find out not reachable from the initial symbol initial start symbol so in this grammar what is the our start symbol so the first production the first production in this grammar we can say that it is our start symbol so what is our start symbol non terminal is s so in s which non terminal we can uh, which non uh, through the s which non terminal we can uh, go we can uh, move so by using the production we can move the we can reach the non terminal so they said a b s okay so a b s means itself we can reach now s the second production a b a so it means that we can uh, reach a from the s start symbol so it is my reachable symbol now whenever you are trying to uh, generate any string we always use the s production first so s is contain only capital s non terminals and in its production capital a now now check is there any production uh, a so a is expanded is cd so which is a terminal so can we reach capital c production for deriving any strings no it is never reachable uh, from the start symbol because if you are trying to find out the any string you are always moving from s to abs like this the first option either you can pick up the second option aba now again you can expand this a in a itself it contains cd small c this is a small c okay remember it it is not capital c so it means that in our grammar this capital c is not reachable because it is not used anywhere to derive the string so we are just removing it so in this way we can directly remove this symbol in this way we can directly remove this grammar so the final grammar after removing the useless variables useless production we get as derives small a small b capital s s derives small a small b capital a a derives small c small d so i hope this concept is clear to you thank you all